think you were deserving of a top eight seed. Yes. What do you think caused the difference in the committee's mind? I don't know. They'll probably talk about it when the show's over and the reasons why. But again, I, you know, I, I figured it would be eight or nine. I mean, I, I think everybody came into this room thinking eight or nine. They made the decision we were nine. That's fine. Uh, we get a home game, get to play in front of our home crowd again. Um, play Lehigh, uh, who's, a, who's got a good football team, no question about that. So right now, all we're concerned about is, is getting back in the office and getting ready for Lehigh. What's the message you're going to talk, tell the guys to kind of erase the disappointment of not getting a national see a first round bye and get ready for me? They didn't seem that disappointed. I mean, to me, I when they eight popped up, they kind of seemed fine. Let's go, get ready to go play, and uh, we're home, which is great. Uh, and and that's all that matters. Did you get a chance? Um, I like our team a lot, and uh, you know. You have to, we have to go on the road at some point in time, no question about it. And if you keep winning, you're on the road at different spots. So, to me, um, you know, whether we're eight or nine, I mean, obviously it makes a difference. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we just got to get ready to play Lehigh, no question. How much are you a believer in momentum? I mean, ten in a row gives you momentum, but particularly the way this team played yesterday. Um... You know, I haven't really thought about that. Um, you know, every every game is just its own identity. Every time you play one, and they're all different. You know, we played really well uh, yesterday, and you know, the past two weeks we didn't play great. We were good enough. So, um, proud of the guys, the way they played yesterday, and uh, you know, like I said, it, it's one at a time. And uh, Lehigh is the most important thing right now. What has impressed you about this team from fall camp? right now? The resiliency, they're, they're figuring out a way to win games, they never quit, even keeled the whole year. You know, I, you know, I don't see a whole lot of ups and downs with this team. You know, when we win a game, they're, they're happy, but let's get ready for the next one. When we lost a couple early, that, that's fine. We're, we're, we're still undefeated in the conference after being 0-2. And, and uh, did a great job. To win 10 in a row, it's huge right there. But we we got to get we got to get to 11 and 0. 11, I mean 11 straight. Uh, and Lehigh stands in the way. Yeah, I know. Um, I was just talking to Christian about it. He said that we start with them next year, so that uh, they're going to end up ending with us, and we'll start with them too. So that'll be pretty exciting. Just the way that'll all work out. Initial reaction. Um, it stinks that we didn't get a bye week. We were hoping we did with it being Thanksgiving and everything, but playing football on Thanksgiving is a blessing itself. We're all very uh, happy to be able to do that. Just the opportunity that uh, we put ourselves in position to have is amazing. And, yeah, it sucks not having the bye, but we're excited to play this week, go out there and just keep that 1-0 mindset that we've had, prepare this week. It'll be a lot of fun. I think uh, having last year traveled all the way up uh, to New York or wherever that was for Albany, um, just having that big travel under our belt and knowing what it's like playing in the postseason, uh, traveling far for that. You know, normally you're not making as big distances. If we're uh, keep focused this week with Lehigh, go 1-0, uh, see our uh, Idaho in the next round. That's a long uh, travel itself. I think it said we play uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time, if that is the case. So, I mean, that'll be that'll be a big journey. And having, yeah, having that experience. And then also being able to prepare with stuff like Thanksgiving going on, uh, preparing for teams that we didn't even know we were going to play last year, playing North Carolina Central first round. We had no idea we'd end up playing them. And having that week to get all of their film studied, uh, have a good game plan for them. It's something that uh, you don't do in the regular season. So having that experience also I think will be a big help. We've been there before, and we know we can go far this year. That's the goal. Nothing changes with that. We're excited to do just that. Jabril, obviously a little disappointing. You'd like to be a top eight seed. I wonder 
how do you think the spiders will react to that? Um, I, you know, obviously, um, you know, going into, you know, yesterday's game, we had, you know, planned on beating William Mary and hopefully being able to get that first round by, you know, obviously it's not up to us, it's up to, you know, the guys that select the teams, um, but we're just excited for the next opportunity, honestly. Uh, whether it's going to be two weeks from now or this upcoming week, uh, we're, we're excited for whoever we have to go up against. So uh, the guys, I think they're, they're still hungry and know that the main goal is still the main goal. Around after a little bit of a disappointment of not getting that first round body, getting ready for another playoff game at home. I'm sorry, can you repeat yourself? Just trying to turn around from the disappointment of maybe not getting a first round by to now getting ready for a, a Patriot League opponent, the champs, Lehigh, at home to start the playoffs. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, practice is still going to be on Tuesday. So, you know, we're, we we got to go out there and do the exact same stuff that we've been doing all year that's, that's got us to this place that we're in right now. So I think if we, you know, continue to have the same mindset that we've had, you know, on these last eight games of the season, nine games of the season, I think we'll be fine. Was there a moment during this streak that you thought, you know, this group can be really, really special. Maybe not 10 wins in a row special, but this could be a special group that can really be damaged. I think once we got into, you know, about that halfway mark of uh, us being on that streak, I think that's when I really, like, had opened my eyes up, like, yeah, I think this team can really, you know, make a deep run in the playoffs. And I'm not even saying only the second round. You know, we've been bounced out the second round for these last couple of years. I'm talking about a team that can, you know, go to distance. So, um, as long, again, like I was saying earlier, as long as we continue to do what we've been doing, uh, we'll, we'll be great. We'll be great. How much can playoff experience be a factor for you guys that are now doing it for the third time? You mentioned practice Tuesday, but this week is a little different, and Thanksgiving is in there, and classes aren't going on, and obviously when you get to Saturday, it's, you know, win in advance and lose, and you don't. Yeah, um, I mean... I, I think that the playoff experience definitely does help. You know, obviously, some of these younger guys that are playing right now, they, they haven't really experienced it as much. But, you know, the, the, the sophomores, juniors that were here, you know, these are guys that have seen what it takes to, you know, win a playoff game. It's not going to be easy. Obviously, uh, like I said in the interview a couple weeks ago, every team's going to be good from here on out for these next five weeks. And uh, it's proven so. So, you know, obviously, that, that experience will help a lot. But, again, we have to go out there and handle business like we always have. I'm just excited to play some more football. Honestly, um, and anytime you make the playoffs, it's it's a good it's a good thing. You know, I'm just I'm just excited to play more football. That's it. The message you tell the guys that will be playing postseason. What is the message? I mean, it's just it's just football at the end of the day. I mean, it's I think it's a little bit different because you know you're playing non-conference opponents. But I mean, we play non-conference opponents at the beginning of every season. So I mean. I think I think that's a little bit different. I think you know, as you get deeper into the playoffs, you travel a little bit more. Uh, but that's something we'll worry about when we get there. So. Uh, I was going to ask, when did you realize this was going to be a special? Game? Maybe not ten wins in a row special, but you know, they had to make it. To yeah, I mean, I think early in the season, I, I think the loss to Wofford was you know a real uh, gut check. And I think the way that the guys responded the follow those following weeks, I think that told me, you know, we have a, a pretty solid group of guys that are are going to pull it together for the rest of the season and really fight, you know, no matter what the circumstances are. I, I think I think that was a huge turning point. You know, the way we followed up that loss early in the season, um, I think that was huge. How big is it for you guys that have been in this for the first three years of having that experience in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, I think it's big, and I mean, I think, I mean, part of it too is um, it's not a shock to to feel, to be in the playoffs anymore. You know, it's not like oh yeah, like we're in the playoffs. You know, like let's go. You know, we were expecting and, and waiting just to see who we play next. You know, so I, I think that's that's a good thing. You know, it's kind of an expectation now. You know, rather than you know hoping and praying that you're going to get in the playoffs now, it's just kind of an expectation. It's like okay, who do we play next? Disrespect a source of motivation for the playoffs this year. I mean, uh, I mean, I, like I said before, I mean, it's just it's just another game um, going forward. I mean, I, I think throughout the season we've been playing with a chip on our shoulder. I, I think that's that's been a mindset throughout the season, not just in the playoffs or not just last week. I think that's been playing with a chip on our shoulders, kind of been our uh, our mindset throughout the whole season. It's it's awesome. I, I love doing Thanksgiving with the guys. It's it's 
you get to do something besides just football related things with them so I, I love it 